Hey folks, this is Johnny with Home Studio Trainer uh, for Personas, and we are going through Studio One Four. And here was probably one of the biggest surprises for me, uh, and I think is going to be a huge feature for a lot of people that have uh, vision issues. I have an astigmatism, and I'm very sensitive to light and certain things that I'm looking at under certain lights. And this is a huge thing for me as far as being comfortable with Studio One. Usually when I mix, I'm in a room and I got all the lights low. I've just got my little LED lights, just kind of a mood setting. And I do all of my mixing very easily, whether I'm using a controller like the fader port or whether I'm doing it with a mouse and a keyboard. But there are times where I have a room full of people. All of the lights are on. And going from the contrast to the bright and to the dark can be very painful for those of us with eye issues. So here was probably one of the most thoughtful features that I think Personas added for folks like us, and that is the ability to make an adjustment to the overall view of Studio One as far as the background, the color, and the text. So a lot of people that I talk with say, hey, everything is good, but I can't really read the text. I have to be in a certain light to read it. Well, watch this. The luminance option in the, you go to general, and then you go to appearance. Not only does dark and light, but they took it a step further and they gave us the ability to invert Studio One as a whole. Now it's not just brighter, it's not just cleaner, it is now black text on white backgrounds. So if you are in a well-lit room and the dark screen of Studio One can be very confining, you can go all the way up, look at this folks, all the way up to 100%. This is a great look for brighter rooms if you're having like transitional problems with lights, you can also do the same. I want you guys to watch the background here. I'm going to go with the luminance here and I'm going to brighten this up and I can do the same thing with the background, with the uh, event view for this. Now, also, you have the contrast option here. If you watch the letters uh, in the background, if I darken or lighten the contrast, you can see that it affects, see now the text is real subtle, real soft, and if I go all the way up here, now it really stands out. The same thing can be done with the grid in the background. So if I go to the contrast setting here for the arrangement view, I can go dark this way. You see how the lines kind of vanish, but if I turn the contrast all the way up, the black lines now in the grid really pop out and it, they even pop out for some of the smaller measurements, like the 1 16th or the 1 32nd, and we'll adjust. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll adjust as you zoom in. So you can see, look at this, you can now see all the lines. This is something you couldn't do before uh, to really be able to look at how Studio One automatically adjusts to the per frame view, in some cases, in between the beats, or if you have it on time in between the seconds and the minutes. So this is just amazing what you can do here. You can do this with key commands too. I'm a mouser, so I prefer to use the mouse for stuff like this. But look at that view. Uh, you can really customize this thing. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit here. I'm going to show you how the inspector looks. Looks really nice here. If I select an event, you can see I mean, this is beautiful. This is like just writing with a pen on a white piece of paper. You can see everything so clearly, and I'm pretty far away from my monitor right now, and you can see everything super clear. All of the details, all of the way the faders look, your button options are also in a light gray. You can also do this. Let me show you guys the colors. Uh, let's go to preferences, and we're going to do the colors. So now if I shift the colors around, watch this. I can make things, here we go, I got more of a bluish kind of hue right here. Here we go, just like that. You can see now all of these are in green. I can make them yellow, just to kind of really customize it. Everybody likes to do custom colors. So now it's going to be amazing watching YouTube videos with all of the different screens that you can now set up in Studio One. You're gonna make sure you're gonna to wanna to read the title 
and make sure that you're watching a Studio One video because a lot of these things are going to be really different looking and everybody is going to have their own process. Um, one thing I noticed here is I don't have the channel, the tracks colorized. So we're going to go up here to the wrench and we're going to say, let's see, colorize. There we go now. There we go. We got some color in here. There we go. So you can see all of that colored with the uh, with the tracks in the bottom. And as always, the uh, features that they they kept was being able to link the event view or the arrange view with the console. You can separate them so that you can show and hide different tracks. And those are some of the color options uh, for the new screens in Studio One Four. I hope you enjoy it. See you later.